welcome back. My name is Ron Hurst. I'm the founder here at Developing Leaders. We're really excited that you're with us today. You know, over the last several weeks, we've been taking on some pretty common questions that people have about leadership. You know, questions like, is the leader born or made? The answer is yes, by the way. Uh, how do I motivate my team? Or what's the difference between a leader and a manager? Today, we're going to take on a different question. And it's one that I have always really liked. I think it's an important question to ask. And there's good news for those of you if this question applies to you. And the question is simply this, I'm shy, can I be a leader? Well, let me cut right to the chase. The answer is yes, you absolutely can. You know, what I believe about leadership and what we teach here at Developing Leaders is that there is no one cookie cutter answer to what is leadership. There isn't one perfect style of leadership, not one perfect set of traits that you have to have. If there were, then trait theory would be the only answer, and hence, leaders were born and not made. And if you can't learn to be a leader, then what's the point? I mean, the bottom line is this, you can learn to be a leader. What we need to do is teach you how to leverage your strengths, okay? Three points I wanna to make today. If you're a shy person and you're struggling with the concept of becoming a leader, I wanna let you know that there is hope. You know, when I first moved from Michigan to California, I moved into an environment where I knew no one. Take on a manager's role in an organization where I knew no one, other than the person that interviewed me. And well, he was my boss. We weren't really good friends or anything. So, you know, I discovered something really powerful because I'm right on the edge of an introvert extrovert that I develop deep relationships with one person at a time. And I think recognizing that introverts tend to have a few very close connections is an important point. Leverage your network. Develop deep relationships with those few people that you have an affinity for or that you have an attraction or mutual interest toward, okay? So network. Number two, learn. Learn ruthlessly. Become the absolute expert in your area of, of interest. So much so of an expert that people come to you to get answers. And then do not be stingy with sharing your knowledge. Knowledge may be power, yes, but knowledge hoarded is stupid. It's a technical term, stupid, don't do that. Become the expert, learn everything that you can about your area of interest. Be the one that people come to. And then finally, focus. Make sure you have absolute clarity on what you wanna do, where you wanna go, and recognize that the more you focus on achieving your goals, the easier it will become to achieve them. And people will come to follow you because of that. As I said, I've dealt with this myself throughout my career. I have a mentor in my life who describes himself as a painful introvert. He's the CEO of a major firm. The reality of it is, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter if you're an introvert or an extrovert, you can be a leader. The question is, do you want to be? Do you have the thing deep in your gut that says, I know how, I want to do it, I'm going to take people with me? Network with others. Develop, leverage the fact that you have deep, powerful relationships with a small group of people. Maybe stretch it by one, okay? Reading a really cool quote by a guy named Michael Myatt recently, he writes for Forbes magazine and he's a CEO, uh, advisor and consultant. He said, that leadership begins at the end of your comfort zone. Didn't say how far over the edge of the end of your comfort zone, so just get to the edge of your comfort zone, develop a new one new relationship. How about that? One new relationship. And you'll find that your network just expanded, maybe by as much as 33%. But it expanded. And when you're able to do that and just selectively and strategically expand your network, you will find yourself more able to influence outcomes. And then, as I said, learn ruthlessly about your areas of interest. Don't forget about the other areas as well. We definitely want to grow in all areas, but learn ruthlessly on those things that you're most interested in that will help progress you in the area that you want to lead. And then finally, Focus. Laser focus on those things that you want to lead. Set goals, achieve goals, be seen as the person who gets things done. If you get that reputation and you share the knowledge that you're gaining from what you're learning and you expand your network one person at a time, you will find yourself called upon to be a leader. I have no doubt. 
Introverts have this amazing thing, and I want to just leave you with this thought, that every, almost every introvert I've ever met has a tendency to hold back in group conversations till, till the end, and then add this pearl of wisdom that is so distilled, it's just amazing, and it sometimes frustrates me that they don't share it earlier. Introverts have a powerful place in the world of leadership. Don't believe for a second that if you're an introvert and shy, yeah, to me, um, the words, maybe let's, let's deal with that. Is shy, an, is shy and introvert mean the same thing? No, of course not. But an introverted person tends to keep to themselves. They gain energy by going off by themselves. There are many shy introverts, no question. Is it possible to be a shy extrovert? I suppose it is. It's kind of hard. It's kind of an oxymoron in a way. But the point of the matter is, it doesn't matter if you're shy or not. There's room for you at the table of leadership. So join us. I encourage you to come to our website, www.developingleaders.co, not .com, .co. Check us out. Check out some of the other videos. We're actually in the process of putting up some training videos that we think you'll, that you'll really like. So check those out as well. Give us some feedback. Contact us at the developingleaders.co. Look forward to seeing you next time. Make it a great day.